Before we get started today, we're gonna to talk about this right here. Good morning, uh, welcome. Let's get these lights on. So I've been, uh, I've been a little frustrated lately um, with the, uh, the sorting of the UCS sets, getting the B-Wing put together. Um, I'm just frustrated with work in general. I feel like I'm, I can't dedicate as much time to it as I want to, which is by design. By design, I do this so I can be, you know, a stay-at-home dad and not have to go into an office and we pay for more daycare and don't get to see my kid all that much, you know, all that fun stuff. But I'm feeling like frustrated that I'm not putting as much time into this as I feel like I want to. That's element one. Element two is like, I used to like do theater, make short films, I, all this stuff I've talked about before. And I just haven't had the time. Uh, one, because this takes up that free time now. Two, full-time dad, all that fun stuff. So there's like a piece of me that's not getting like fed right now. And so uh, my brother and I actually have, uh, we've been talking like, like what's a creative project we can work on. He's in a similar boat too. He's like trying to work, trying to raise his kids. Just can't do all the creative stuff he used to do. So we've been talking once a week, like oh, we could do a short film. We could write a book, like just trying to figure out what's a low time commitment, low impact thing we can do together to feed that creative side of ourselves. We got on the subject of Shel Silverstein while talking about maybe writing a book. Um, and I remembered this poem. I had found it a couple years ago, really liked it, forgot about it, and then that conversation sprung to mind again. All the woulda, coulda, shouldas laying in the sun, talking about the things they woulda, coulda, shoulda done, but those woulda, coulda, shouldas all ran away and hid from one little did. It's just a good reminder that I am doing things. Um, there's people who go their whole life without without trying anything because they're worried about failure, worried about this, worried about that. And their life is gonna be full of all the things they wish they could have done, things they wish they would have done, could have done. Um, and I'm, I'm actively doing something. Even if it's one little did every day, I'm doing something. So, thought I would share that with all of you. Uh, there's also like, how, what is that phrase? Perfection is the enemy of completion, something like that. Uh, I think I feel like a lot of people just don't get started because they want to do it all out. They want to get all in right away. Uh, and then they get frustrated that they can't and so they therefore never start. I have a couple projects that I am working on on the side, both Lego and non-Lego related. And that poem is a good reminder of like, you don't have to do it all today. You can do a little piece of it today, and then you can do a little piece of it tomorrow, and then eventually you'll have done the whole thing. So, just a good reminder. So now, uh, I'm on my way to Shannon and Kelso's. They uh, bought some Bricklink stuff for me, and they're selling me stuff. So rather than ship it to them, I'm just gonna pack it all up and take it over to them. Um, so they got to save on shipping, which is cool. And then I'll buy some stuff. From them, we'll take a look at that. It's very hard to do both of these at the same time. So I will talk, finish talking to you and then pull the order. Um, we're gonna go do that. They got toys and Lego for me to buy. And yeah, should be a good time. Okay, here we go. They got a brand new Owen Grady. Uh, this black hair, two stormtroopers, two of these dino babies, and three of the swords. Not quite time for me to go yet, so we'll go ahead and pull a couple orders. Probably won't get them packed in time, but at least they'll be out and ready for me when I get back. Let's see here. Interestingly enough, I think this came out of the last stuff that Shannon and Kelso sold me. This Jungle Cruiser for $8.76. Jungle Raider, sorry, $8.76 plus shipping. Oh, we got an action figure over here going out. Happy to have some lower value stuff getting out of here, along with some higher value stuff. Silver Surfer, $7 plus shipping. There we go. Okay, we're looking for 
couple older ones here. Nope, not that one. Well, I know the first order TIE Fighter's going. I think 90 plus shipping. Whoa! Woo! That was a close call. This is going Lego Driving School, 1274 plus shipping. That's a cool one. Not a lot to it, but it's cool. If y'all remember, I picked these up for a dollar a piece in the last yard sale video. Somebody snatched them up. Uh, they're Mighty Micros, Nightwing and Supergirl, 44. $4.99 free shipping, I think is what it was. Yeah. So this last one is like a legit mystery. I don't... Thai Advanced Micro Fighter, complete with instructions, 16 free shipping. I have like, I have four spots used Lego sets go, especially the smaller ones. And I've dug through those four drawers multiple times now. And it's just not there. I don't understand. So I'm just checking anywhere else that might slightly make sense. Like I'll put larger sets here until they sell. This one is waiting on a piece to be completed. Like what the heck? So 99.9% .9 of the time, they'll go in one of these three so I thought, well, maybe it was that 0.01% and I've been through every drawer now and it's just not popping up. What is going on? And naturally, this is like, I was just talking about not feeling like having enough time. This certainly does not help with that feeling. What in the world? Don't ask why, because I couldn't tell you why. All these are to be listed, and for some reason, I just put it back in there. Well, I'm glad I didn't accidentally list it a second time. My gosh. I don't know why, but there you go. Tide Man's 16, free shipping. Okay, with that little hiccup out of the way, it didn't burn too much time, thank goodness, but that was, that was frustrating. Um, it's time to hit the road. So let's, I did get all the eBay shipping done. Water bottle right there. So when we come back, it'll just be the few Bricklink orders and anything else that sneaks in. And we'll look at some cool stuff. We're back. So this is all the stuff we got. Plus one other thing I got to remember to show you. So a lot of Star Wars toys from like, early 2000s there's probably not going to be a ton of value in here in fact i'm almost sure of it so i'll probably like i don't know if, i don't know if they ended up having the uh cockpit for this so there's going to be some like piecing together stuff but this still talks there's, there's a bunch of figures in it eyes light up or you can't see that so i'll go through this there's figures inside that um it starts getting better over here uh more carrying cases they got me some lego stuff epic dragon battle some bendy and the ink machine stuff jane buildable jangle set uh micro fighter and then some old mcdonald's transformers toys which are super cool uh, this box is probably going to be where all the money's at. It's a lot of like Micro Machines and Mighty Max. And Mighty Max stuff, you know, you can get quite a bit of money if they're complete. So I'm going to have to go through the effort of going through those. You know, I can't unfortunately show you everything today because there's just too much. Ah! Uh... I did see the scientist in one of the photos for this one, so I'll have to dig him out. And then there's like the Batman Micro Machine. I don't know anything about that one. But that's cool. 
looks like there's some other toys in here. There's a C-3PO Micro Machine playset. This looks like an R2 Micro Machine playset, probably. So that this one's gonna be fun to go through. Like, I loved Mighty Max as a kid. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, more Star Wars stuff over here. Looks like a Galactic Heroes, Galaxy of Heroes, whatever it's called. And there can, like, some of those can be surprising uh, in value. A lot of Funko Pops over here and things of that nature. Looks like something broke off of there. Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> and then more Star Wars stuff. So some of this may end up being like, um, you know, lotting it up and trying to sell it on Facebook to people who are hunting on there just because like, I can't imagine posting these individually is gonna be worth a lot of money. But, 590 all in. I know there's probably 300 ish dollars in the Mighty Max Micro Machine stuff alone. One of the Lego sets is a hundred dollars, so the money's there. Um, it's just gonna like take some effort as it does, and I didn't have to go out hunting for it, they did it all for me. So <laughs> that's a perk. I was gonna go out tomorrow. Uh, yard sailing. There's like a community yard sale nearby. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it because I've got plenty to do now. One of the cool things is we got we we're talking about Django Fett, and uh, they they sold me one like that, and I already have his helmet. So there we go. Now I've got Cloud City Boba Fett, Django Fett. Um white Boba Fett so it's pretty cool I'm very excited about that and um, one of the Lego sets they gave me was a clone battle pack so I'll get to add that to the lineup as well when I get to that very exciting there they go that is a beautiful beautiful sight uh, I feel like I need to get like a light right here to make this all look cooler. I used to have a LED strip light right here, but then it stopped working. So I, when I put all this back together, I just threw it away. But I need to get something to make this look cool up here. Well, before I start digging into those boxes, we had a couple more sales. I think this is the video game, WCW versus NWO, $11 free shipping. Over here for $24 plus shipping. I sent out a bunch of offers on stuff um, last night knowing I had this big purchase coming up. So the Bi Wing, the Vintage Space Bi Wing. Super cool set right there. That was a lot of fun to put together. Um, I put these on a steep sale because I've had them for ages and just need them gone in fact if i can if i can just have that box completely empty by the end of the holidays that would be ideal 14.91 free shipping and then if you remember i picked this up went for 28 plus shipping which wasn't ideal but i spent eight dollars on it at the last yard sale and it just there wasn't enough figures to make it really demand more. I thought it was gonna be a bigger win, but it was not. Um, but, and because I went and bought the stuff today, I'll have those boxes to put it in. That's great. Tanner, I haven't forgotten that you sent me this pirate set. I do wanna put it together. I just haven't had time, I'm sorry. I will put it together, I promise. Almost forgot we had some brake link sales. Um, I got the first one pulled right here. Oh, the joys of counting out studs. 25, all in. A couple of these heads are from this Harry Potter set, so that continues to be a beneficial purchase, beneficial part out. Awesome. Okay, this order is going out to Brick Vice. And on his Instagram, when people uh, follow him. He like adds to this giant tree he's, he's building. I'll try and throw up a picture of it. So go follow him on Instagram because uh, 
he's either gonna combine trees or come up with some kind of ranked leaf system. I'm not sure. We're like 10 equals red followers or, or red equals 10 followers or something like that. I'm not sure what he's gonna do, but it's gonna be interesting to see how big this tree of his can get. It's on its way. I threw in a couple extra for you too as well. Last order going out today is considerably easier. Tray 1H. Just this torso right here. Is this the right one? I believe so. They're all in $10.98. So five something plus shipping. Okay, went to the post office. My, the day just bleeds away. Of course, two hours of that was going and buying the new stuff. Let me throw a couple of those things up on eBay. Probably won't get to the B-Wing today. And then when I decide what I'm gonna do, tomorrow i'll either come out and work on that or go shopping again again just a reminder to everyone my goal is uh november through march to not have to go out and buy anything if opportunities pop up i'll do that but the goal is to have enough in here that i don't feel the urge to go to thrift stores i don't have to feel the urge to bulk buy online or anything like that my goal is to be sustainable all winter long. All right, let's throw some listings up. Okay, I pulled out all these dinosaurs. Uh, mostly not worth anything, especially out of box. Uh, so I just lotted all of these up. And I posted it for 35 free shipping, but honestly, if somebody comes in with a lower offer, I'll probably do it just to move them. This one was worth posting on its own, 10 plus shipping. Not bad. So let's say that comes out to 25 after fees and everything. 30 bucks right there. Just posted each of these individually. Bendy and the Ink Machine plush. $9 each plus shipping. So let's say, let's just easy math, 5, 10, 15. Uh, so 45, 50 bucks posted. Here's more Bendy toys. Maybe I just stick with Bendy for now and make sure it all gets listed. There's some Bendy building blocks building blocks. Maybe I lot all those up. I can't imagine they're desirable. Hmm, I wonder who made these. Probably Funko. No, I don't see. Huh, interesting. Oh, we'll grab those too. Oh, there's another one. Bendy and the Ink Machine is one of those things where it like popped up one day, at least on my radar. It pack popped up one day and I was like, what the heck is this? And then it just disappeared. Like, I I imagine it was trying to, I'm just seeing if there's any more. I imagine it was trying to uh, ride the heels of Five Nights at Freddy's and other stuff like that. Cuphead also came out around the same time, I think. So that's, that's gotta be what it is. Look at all this fun, good times. I'm so excited to do this. Look at, oh man, so cool. And there's Ninja Turtle ones too. Oh, it looks like it belongs to the Batman one. Yep, there's a Batman right there. Um, here's this one. I had this one as a kid, so it was really cool to open it up again. I already posted it for 45 plus shipping. Let's see if I can get it open one handed. Probably not. We got Polly Pocket for boys, is what it was. Witch Doctor's hiding back there. Got all these like little details so rad and I love if I do the spider one today I'll show you the spider one the silverback of the gorilla is what makes the thing right there here's the spider one this thing I don't think that looks like it's supposed to be glued down so I will research that but if Grab this spider, so it went like that, and then you go like that, and it completes the outer shell too. It's just wicked cool. Really cool stuff. And that looks like it belongs right there. So I gotta look up which Mighty Max figure is supposed to go in there. Um, I, don't, I don't think that's the right one. It's been a while. So I just gotta figure it out, and that's all. Let's go ahead and look at these. Maybe this one too. 
doesn't it sound like anything's in there. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. But these two are complete. Just little, little scenes. So here, I can show you how nerdy I can get. Um, Norman is his name, Virgil, and of course, Mighty Max. He was also Thor at some point. Like, he's been alive long enough that he was Thor. There you go. So I'm about to like freak out a little bit. I'm pretty sure this belongs to this, which I've just held on to for forever because I had it as a kid and I loved it. I found it in a thrift store. I couldn't tell you how long ago. And I just haven't wanted to get rid of it. That is wild. <clears throat> but right now I am looking at this one and I seem to be missing one of these coils here. Um, it'll still sell. And they did say that like, they put all the little bits in this Tupperware thing here. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find it elsewhere. All right, so I've kind of set this aside for a minute because I went through that one, that one, and that one. And it's like, I just, I wanna dig for things, make sure it's really not here before posting it. And I, you know, I could probably do the C-3PO head because it's that guy and the Cloud City one. But I just want to do some more digging around first. Oh, I know where that goes. I'm not seeing the other one though. I'm sure it'll pop up. Um, so I grabbed this one. This will be my last one of the day. Surprised me, it's going for over a hundred bucks. I did not realize that. So we're gonna go ahead and post that now. Just checking it for damage, make sure stuff closes like it's supposed to. Looks like that. Yeah, it's a really cool playset, that's for sure. And this ramp comes down. And on this side, does this side open up? I don't think this side opens up. No. Okay, rad. And that's gonna do it for today. We didn't do everything, but we did a little bit. And that's all we needed to do. Uh, it'll keep the business running. I mean, that's gonna keep me running for a while. And I just need to keep working through it a little bit every day. I'll dedicate less time to it on Monday. Uh, let me turn this light back on since I'm talking. I'll dedicate less time to it Monday because I do need to focus on the UCS sets and get those up before the holidays because that's when they're most likely to sell. Um, so, you know, I'll come in, grab a couple items out of that lot over there, get them posted, and then just dedicate the rest of my time to this. The good news is I don't have to test video games or anything like that. It's just take pictures, post it, find the little bits if it's missing little bits for the micro machines. But a lot of this is grab it, take photos, post it, move on, which is ideal. And that'll keep money flowing as I work on the Lego stuff. That's the plan anyway. I'll catch y'all later. Hope y'all have a good one. See you next time. Bye.